You finished? S sorry, sir. Who would like to start? I've got to get this out because I just feel awful about it. But the only thing that I can go back to is the day that Johnny went. And, like, I, I feel awful about this, Ross. You mentioned Johnny to me. And then you just said a, just a sentence, right? This is all it is, just a sentence. You went, please don't tell Johnny. Now, for me, it was like you planted the seed and then told me not to say anything. So I do, I'm sorry that I've got to say it, but that's my only truth. I was 100% convinced of Johnny, and like, I'm gutted. Not only is he faithful, but he would have been and was a good one. But I convinced myself, like, absolutely convinced myself that he was 100% a traitor. So, yeah, that's all that was. I mean, I've already, I've already approached the person I think it is. So just for everyone else around the round table, I've gone to Zach. Because I've gone from the process of, like, elimination where I've put everyone up as who I think's faithful. And I find it really hard, because with Zach, I go, one minute he's a traitor, and the next minute he's a faithful. I'll switch and look at someone else, and then you'll come in and you'll do something, and I think, well, that's such a traitorous thing to do, so I'm finding it really hard. Yeah, to be, to be fair, Zach, I feel exactly the same, mate. You're confusing me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've told you before, like, you're just, you're, you're just throwing stuff out there. It's all in logic, though. It's all grounded in... I don't in, know in... if it is. But, I mean, who here hasn't had a thought one day and then immediately had a different thought the next? Conf you are confusing. I think, I think, yes, I can be confusing, but I do genuinely try and understand logic, explain it to people as to why I think someone is a traitor. Can I just add, because obviously you've been on my board for quite a few times, yeah, yeah. I know that you had loads of ideas, you have loads of thoughts, and you say lots of things. It comes across like you are trying to throw a bit of distractions, kind of stir. They've been the same number of names, though. Not really. They have been. I've, stu mean, I've stood by Anne for the last three round tables. Really and Jasmine. Uh, well, yeah, no, I had the conversation with her about that Yeah, but as well. that's another name, isn't it? Can I just say, he actually, he did put forward my name, but I actually believe Zach is a faithful. Me too, and at I the minute. Did, I did say that. He's trying to process and why somebody would do something, and that's, the, that's my understanding when I'm talking to Zach, and this is from somebody he voted against. I'm going to go back to and suggest this to the group. One of the first people I considered might be um, a traitor, and that's you, Andrew. Yeah. You've, well, you've put forward Zach's name. You've when? put forward Ash's name. I've got to second with Diane. For us, generally, if we're discussing something, you sit down and you talk it out and you hear the outcomes. Yeah. That's not really happening necessarily with yourself, and so therefore it just looks like you're doing names. And if we apply a same, if we go with that logic of what we did yeah, with on. Ash, that it's exactly the same as what she was doing. But I haven't gone and under, underhand giving names to people and things. I generally, I don't think you are a traitor. I think you're a bad faithful, to be honest. You, you're just like bumbling and talking and things. That's why I never ever voted for you. I've given, said your name to people because everybody's talking about you. I, I don't know why you wouldn't come to me and discuss those concerns with me because I would, I would afford you the same luxury. Okay. And, and your name's been nowhere near my thought process That's until fine. I heard that my name was in your mouth. If I thought it was you, <laughs> so I'd, I'd put your name on the card. I'm not, shy, I'm not a shy person. If I generally thought it was you, I'd put your name on your card. But I've got no idea who the traitors are. I don't but think I any of us I would accuse people. Could, could I just interject? Every time sort of I'm around you, I feel as though there's sort of a lack of contribution in terms of. Um, putting sort of names forward. So you're saying I lack contribution, I don't contribute when I'm in a group. Okay. It's, it's lack of contribution to discussions. Um, so there's yeah, so sort the of... name drops, but there's no chaff. Exactly. That's exactly. That's exactly. Not exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to yeah. I don't wanna chuck names um, out there. Like, I just want to be one shitster and drop people on, and chuck people on the buses when I haven't got no evidence. We need to be yeah. constructive yeah. in order to have some form of direction. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to sort of say that I'm not quite settled with yourself, Paul. You know, if I was a traitor, I think, you know, you've been considered the, the most popular amongst the group. Um, and if I was a traitor, I'd be like, that's such an obvious choice. So, and you're still here. I think I'm in your head, and I don't know why. OK. We had an apology. I said to you, after the Ash situation, mm -hmm. we drew a line underneath it. But then I also heard that the next morning, saying the opposite about me. So, mm. like, a little lie, maybe, in the morning. Um, I personally don't think that happened. Um, well, you know, sadly, Tracy's not here to but, back me up. But, like, like I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm not 100% settled that you are a traitor. I've just got those concerns at this point in time. I just want to say, for the record, that I just don't think Paul is a traitor, but, like, yeah. 
I want to bring up someone else, and who I want to bring up is you, Anthony. I think that you have a very clever way of diverting questions. I also met you on the platform on the first day, and you are just so completely different, mate. Like, you are so bubbly, you're really, really, like, wanting to get to know everyone. And then, yeah, at these roundtables, you don't really contribute, um, and I just think it's a bit suspicious. You finished? So, sorry, no, don't be rude. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just asking her if she's finished. I know, finished. I know, yeah, but this no, is my not, No, no, hold on. That's not meant in any rude way. No. So if you've taken it in a rude way, it's not in a rude way. I just want to make sure that I'm you're finished. finished. OK, because I don't want to interject you, because that's what happens a lot, and then a lot of diversion happens. So this notion that basically when I was on the platform, I was one way, and now I've changed and all of that, you can see that. You know, if you've been around me, especially those people who have, who have spent time, who've actually spent time with me, one thing they'll see is that who I am has shone through consistently. A lot of diversion is going on, OK? And it's very interesting to me that there's a lot of talk about people not bringing things to the round table, but there's a lot of people that haven't even spoke at this round table yet. You want to call me out and say to me that I'm not bringing something to the table, I'm bringing something to the table because I'm telling you, I believe Zach's a traitor. I'm telling you that straight. If you decide to put my name down there, you're going to be 8 1 down. Simple as that. Think about that. Let that one sink in. You're going to be 8 1 down. I don't know. I, I find you so confusing, Anthony. And I do also second what Jasmine said. When I met you on the platform, you were a completely different person. And I know first day vibes, everybody's buzzing, but I just feel like your behaviour's changed a bit. I do. You might not like my personality, but is this a game about personality and who we like? No one said or, that. We're just or, saying or, or is it about on. or is it about facts? One thing about me: when you see the game, when you see it's game time, my same personality exudes itself, which is basically I go for it. So at the end of the day, look, I have shown that I'm down for the team. I'm a faithful, and as I said, if you really want to try and vote me off you'll be 8-1 down. See, I support Anthony just because I feel like he's very a, a, pers a hard person to understand. But when people say he's, like, changed and stuff, I think he opens up to the people he trusts. I genuinely don't believe it. And if we lose Anthony and he stands up there and says he's a faithful, that's, again, a massive loss. Players, the time for talk is over.